Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deposit to the Diversify Layer 2 Exchange for the first time using Metamask. Navigate to app.diversify.com, make sure your Metamask wallet is unlocked, and sign the pop-up that comes up letting the site know that you're, that you're here. Click Connect Wallet. You've got options here for the wallets that you can connect with. If you connect via Metamask, which is what we're going to do, this is for a Metamask standalone connection, not with a linked hardware wallet. If you want to use a hardware wallet, you can use Ledger directly. We're going to use Metamask. First thing we need to do is unlock our wallet and make it tradable on the layer two. So this pop-up here is generating a trading key in the background. That's a one-time thing, doesn't cost any gas. Once we've done that, we will then need to register with the exchange, which again is a one-time thing. And the registration and deposit step is all happens at the same time. So I'm gonna deposit 0.2 ETH, which is my registration and deposit at the same time. And it's gonna ask me to sign a transaction. The first transaction is a little bit more expensive uh, than future deposits, um, but this is just a one-time thing because it generates all the stuff in the background that you need to trade on layer two. I'm not gonna leave my email address for now, but I do recommend that you do to stay in touch. And what we're going to see once this transaction has been mined is uh, it will appear in the deposits box. Uh, so we're just waiting for this transaction to go through here. It's important to note that you need to make sure you have ETH in your layer one wallet because this is how you're going to pay for deposits and withdrawals to and from Diversify. So you always need to make sure you've got some ETH in your wallet. Once you've got funds on Diversify and want to trade, um, you need some, uh, the fees are taken from the, the native asset itself. But you always need to make sure you've got some ETH in your layer one. So we're just waiting for this transaction to be mined so that we can see it pop up in our deposit box. Um, if for whatever reason this transaction doesn't go through, for example, you speed up or uh, cancel it, you will see the deposit still appear in the deposit box as pending, but it actually won't be counting and that will just disappear from the deposit box uh, within the first, within 24 hours. Um, so you can always check by just going to your transaction history from your layer one wallet to see if that deposit's gone through. Uh, just waiting for this to go through now. It shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, I'm on. Well, and that one must be pretty congested today. Great, that transaction has gone through and you can see now that deposit will be ready for trading in 10 blocks.